what's up guys it's hot i7 rct bringing you another video for you guys and this time around i brought you the smash brothers ultimate video that i kind of owe you guys been out of it for uh, a few weeks already uh long story to make the long story short here i am i didn't get the title on launch day as basically everybody and their mother did um, as I can tell by my friends list, everybody was playing the damn game on launch day and afterwards it was like, oh, smash, smash, smash. I felt a little, a little bad on one hand that I didn't have the game on launch day, but you know, life happens and I'm not going to complain and make a big deal out of it because, you know, I miss a day, there's always another day to go ahead and have fun with the game. Um, number two. On that same vein, I don't feel so bad because I was actually invested and still am invested in Warframe. Check out the 30th day update on that game in particular, which I uh, just finished uh, shooting for you guys. So check that out, please. Um, but yeah, Smash is here, uh, even with a nice little collector's coin here. Let me see if it focus. Came packaged separately in the game. Got a nice little logo there. Yeah, this will uh, make some company for the other coin that I got for my, my little Odyssey. We are from Best Buy, um, which I got the game from. Now, let's go into this. Let's bring this music down. And let's go into the gameplay seen here now first off I want to let you guys know you guys are way everybody everybody even from small kids to old adults like me I am way behind I just recently got the game as as recent as yesterday actually I think it was yesterday was it or the day before I just have been putting off playing it because I've been playing tons of Warframe and I kind of wanted to play just a little bit to have a feel for it because there's nothing that I'm really gonna add that you guys already don't know about the game you guys are playing the game and those who are not playing or plan on getting the game have already watched uh, probably a ton of YouTube videos talking about different stuff how to and games and stuff like that i'm not here to do that i'm just here to provide a perspective and as far as i can tell the game is awesome is what you can expect from smash now i'm gonna skip here i don't have many characters at all because i am now what can i say about the game go to full screen here for a second. What can I say about the game? It is the most comprehensive, the most feature-packed, the most most I think I've seen in a Smash game. It's, it's almost overwhelming the ton of stuff that this game is packing. Now I was in the camp that was, uh, let's say, not exactly disappointed, but I wasn't completely thrilled when they said they were going to make extension uh, not a completely new game but it was understandable or at least i understood and it was better this way because it would take far less time to get a smash on the switch if it, you know if instead they would have gone to a new and improved you know new uh, version of smash all the tweaking all the stuff that they would need to change and, and you know, it, we would we would be waiting forever for the game to come out. So I am very very happy that we have got the game that we have here. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend that I know what's going on here because there's so much stuff that I'm not gonna even bother and make myself look like a fool. I have been. I only tried a little bit of the adventure, as you're gonna see here. Just a little bit of the adventure. A couple of fights here and there. Let's 
So really not much going on when it comes to the party. I do have a couple of spirits. Um, these are the ones that I have so far. But again, not groundbreaking by any measure whatsoever. The characters that I have on the fi fighter roster are very limited too. I only have just a few of them, as you can see. <laughs> Not nearly enough. So let's go back. Oh, I got a challenger. Okay. That one, didn't even get to choose a character. Now you're gonna see my skills or lack of them. Because I am a fighting game enthusiast, but Smash has always been to me more of a party game than a, than a fighter. And it's not me taking away from the game, it's just that. It's completely different styles from a conventional fighter, and I think everybody knows that, so they shouldn't feel like it. Did. But the level of attention and detail on this game is just amazing. It is a first party game, so there's not a lot. I can add, you know, I'm a Nintendo fan, I'm a gaming fan in general, also a PC gamer, PC enthusiast. This is a Nintendo game, a first party game, at its best, what else is there to say? Either you love Smash, that's your type of game, you wanna go play, have fun with it, amazing. Now, that being said, I'm just taking a break here for a while, I'm gonna leave that going on there in the background. I want to mention uh, at least my feeling when it comes to uh, this year, uh, when it comes to Switch. This year uh, is not, of course, as uh, title-packed as it was in 2017, not by any measure whatsoever, but it has been a good year. As a Switch owner, I don't feel like many people out there are trying to make this seem like, oh, this was like, we were starving for games. Quite the contrary. I would say that this is the year that I got, I was able to tap into this amazing area, this amazing breadth of indie titles and uh, actually third party games. Because here I am, I'm stuck putting over 100 and something hours on the Warframe, amazing title, and going back to uh, Summertime, Octopath Traveler, which the game I put a shit ton of hours in that game. That game was supposed to be, at least on my personal circle, it was supposed to be Afro Souls game, and I was going to be there supportive and stuff. And we actually both got so engrossed in the game, the game is so amazing, I hope there's a sequel coming out very, very soon. Aside from that, oh my god, what else? I would need to go back. I have to admit though, let's get out of here for a second. Oh, sorry, I'm doing this. But, Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh my god, this was this was crazy. And I put amazing amount of time and I, I put money into it as well because I got this one with all the fighters, with all the DLC. I couldn't take any less, even though it's a complete double dip because I had it on I have it on PC in, a, in the same way, you know, with the fighters pass, the ultimate fighters pass. It's the time where YouTube came around the Nintendo online. Which, you know, it's been divisive so far. I got it because I know that eventually I'm not going to just get it when I need it. And maybe I'm not able to. 
get it. So if I actually need it, I'm not going to be worrying about, oh, I didn't get, you know, just get it. It's just, it's online. Titles like uh, Rygar, the Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle, Code of Princess. See, all of these titles are titles that, well, except for this Pocket Edition. Uh, I don't even want to get into that one, but yeah, it's been it's been a pretty good year, and even for titles that I was hopefully you know I was waiting for them to arrive, like Shikando right here, the shoot 'em up that I did a video for you guys uh, on the PC version. Uh, classics like 20XX that was also on Steam has been on Steam for a while. Um, yeah, they have been uh, the Sega Ages shooters. What I mean, uh, Last Fear, a title that I had missed, I had a chance to go back to. I know it's not from 2018, but what I mean is that I never felt at all. I never felt like I was starving for games on the platform. I always had something to play. And if, let's say from after July or after Octopath Traveler release, I was a little sluggish on picking up new titles. Again, there was a lot going on in the background and, and as far as personal matters. And of course, the last major game that I got was Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, after that, I kind of pulled back, focused on priorities and stuff like that. And now I'm back. Now I'm back into the action. Hopefully soon, uh, Afroso and I will be doing more videos. Uh, she's doing great, by the way. She uh, says hi to everybody who has been supportive as well. Right now she's working. As of right now, she's working day shift and I'm working night shift. So, again, bear with us because we're going through some changes and changes for the better. But I know that most of you guys here out there who checks my content and stuff like that you are very understanding people very cool people so I know you guys are going to are going to get it so now again just to wrap up the whole year 2018 in terms of switch and switch content I'm looking forward to 2019 I knew that Metroid which is the one that I have been waiting for wasn't going to come out this year because I knew they weren't going to throw Smash and Metroid at the same time. Now, another game that I haven't mentioned, which I haven't picked up yet, two actually, um, which I will add to my library soon enough and I'll probably cover it as a backlog title, uh, Mario Party is one of them and of course the Pokemon uh, titles. So hopefully after the year ends and starting 2019, I'll, I'll get back, I'll get a bargain on those two titles and pick them up for later content. My final statement on that would be, the year has been good, I feel good as a Switch owner. Um, it could have been better, yes of course it could have been better, but considering how 2017 was and how heavy it was with these amazing hits. It was a little bit more than understandable that 2018, the following year, was going to be a little bit, let's say, slim on the first party of So I kind of sort of expected that. But I don't see it in a, in a negative tint like many other people out there just trying to, you know, doom and gloom the whole, uh, the whole system and, and, and Nintendo in general. Now, as far as Smash is concerned, I'll probably do a uh, update video because right now I can tell you how great the game is, how great the game looks, the sounds, the love that was put into this game. But I have, so far, I really don't have much to show for it. You know, I don't have much to go on here because I don't have many characters yet. Uh, thank God all the stages are available, and once I settle down a little bit with Warframe and I get a little bit more extra time, I know that I'm going to start getting more characters. I created a, a, a me character, and so far I've gotten, let me see, Bowser, Jigglypuff, Ness, Pit, Villager, Inkling, 
Yeah, that's about it. I think there's seven, seven starting, and the rest, I guess, I already got them, so. That's all I have for now. I need to practice a lot more, I need to know these characters a lot more because so far I've been using Kirby, I've been using Mario, and I've been using Link. Aside from that, I haven't, although I should try just for shits and giggles, let me try the anything which I hadn't tried. Ooh, I like this. Complete suits instead of just color swaps. Bravo Nintendo, this was a nice, nice touch. I'm actually gonna use this one because it looks a lot like the character that I'm actually using in this platoon right now. So yeah, let's go for it. Ah, what the hell. Let's go for a little match. Let's see what this one is here. Hit it! Oh, she got the smash. That's it for me. That's it for me. She got me. Jeez. Okay, I could probably do... Please tell me that I'm gonna be able to pick. Three, two, one, go! Let's go do a classic run real quick. Uh... Alright, I already finished classic mode with Kirby. So I'm going to be kind of redundant to use him again. How about we try an inkling? Obviously, I, I need to practice a lot more. So let's go with uh, Link. Uh, let's do 
classic Mario. Oh, I didn't want to choose that color. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Thank you, Nintendo. Classic mode. Colors. Let's step it up to just a risk, just for the hell of it. You can take it also, I don't care. Grab the raccoon tail, damn it. Come on, just a little bit more. Get away from me, Zelda. Goodbye. Oh great, now I got three. Do the move though. There it is. Ha ha ha. I say this much. I feel so good about myself now. here again this uh, video was not intended for you know, a long gameplay session or anything like that it was more you know to bring it out to let you guys know hey I got the game I'm out there so we're gonna meet online and we're gonna have some fun with the game it's an excellent way to end the year on switch as I mentioned, uh, for me, if I had to put a grade on it, I would give it maybe a B plus this year in terms of games and and you know overall experience with the system. The system has been holding up really, really well, and mine is from uh, launch day. Supposedly so there was a lot of people having issues with their system. Not my case, you know, gotta knock on wood on that. So yeah, I, I hope you guys are very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us here at uh, RCT. I uh, hope to see you guys soon, uh, both of us. Afrosol and I will be doing some team-up videos very soon, hopefully in the beginning of the year. So take care, guys. Have tons of fun and hope to see you guys soon. Please like and subscribe and see you soon, guys. Have a good game.